The 90s were a really interesting time for punk music. The genre started to move away from the, the hardcore movement of the 80s, pioneered by bands like Minor Threat and Black Flag, and move into more experimental territory and more melodic elements and things and their songs. And we saw an emergence of the post-hardcore movement, grunge, and even emo around that time. However, there was one band that really decided to kind of strip away everything that it had been pushing towards and just bring punk music back to the roots and with a more simple, aggressive, and yet melodic sound. That band was AFI. The band got its start in 1991 when vocalist Davey Havoc, guitarist Marcus Stabophilus, bassist Vic and drummer Adam Carson were all still in high school. Vic was quickly replaced by Jeff Kresge, and they started playing local shows and kind of making a name for themselves. The band was put on hold as the members went off to different colleges and people thought that the band was basically breaking up and over with. However, they returned during a holiday break to play a show. And based on the positive reaction they received, they decided to drop out and play music full time. After playing a bunch of shows, releasing a few singles, a split 7-inch, as well as an EP called Behind the Times, the band released their first full-length album called Answer That and Stay Fashionable in 1995. This album really showed that AFI were trying to bring punk music back to its roots while also acknowledging the influential bands along the way. At its heart, it's kind of a pure hardcore, a melodic hardcore album. The guitar riffs are, are there, they're very fast paced and very aggressive. The bass lines are thick and heavy, you really hear them, they really have a punch to them. And the vocal work, while kind of scratchy and lo-fi, is it comes off as very catchy on this album as well. There's some kind of almost uh, pop elements there as well. And everything just comes together and forms these really sweet rhythms and harmonies on this album. Now, there are songs on here that are just pure hardcore and purely aggressive, like Half Empty Bottle or Open Your Eyes, which are just kind of right in your face. But then there's lighter moments on this album, like songs like I Want to Get a Mohawk, which is told from the perspective of a very young heart. Uh, punk rocker who's still under control of their parents who won't let them you know get a mohawk which is the whole theme of the song despite the fact that they talk about wearing their cramp shirt every night and things like that or, or elements of the punk scene overall or the song for instance serial wars which is probably one of the more brilliant songs that they've ever written because it's just so off the wall it, it's kind of ridiculous and it is actually about cereal it's about cereal talks about cereal mascots like the breakfast cereal uh, mascots of the day, but somehow they managed to pull it off without sounding ridiculous. And a lot of that is due to Davey Havoc's just machine gun vocal work on there and his delivery uh, on that actual track. Now, this album's only real issue is the fact that it, it despite going to the past, it kind of gets lost in all that history. It doesn't do anything that makes it stand out amongst bands of the past, but even of the bands of that time period. And it's solid, it's just that it never really reaches for the stars or anything like that. There's a ton of potential on this album, but it just never get, actually gets capitalized on. That said, it's a fairly minor issue, and it's ultimately offset by just the actual quality of the songs themselves. Thank you for watching the AFI Review Series Part 1. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at their second full-length album, Very Proud of You.